Hello, welcome to Analytics for All. This is part two of data cleaning with Excel. Uh, as always, the exercise files can be downloaded at my site, analyticsforall.org, exercise files download. When you go to the site, look under Excel, you have data cleaning workshop. This green value right here, that is your file. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on data cleaning. What we did in the first problem was we did some findings and duplicates, dealt with those. We looked for spelling errors, handling missing data, and converting data. Today we're going to merge some data sets. Uh, and in the process, we're going to fix some spelling errors we actually inflicted into it. And we're going to convert some more data. So let's go ahead, let's get right to the data, OK? All right, so what we did last time, if you want to remember, is we have a work order list here from an imaginary garage. These are work orders, the dates they were done, the vehicle, the service done, and the mechanic. Uh, this column's weekday column we added. We added this one because we, it's hard to look at a calendar date and find out what day of the week it was. And sometimes when you want to do pivot tables, day of the week's a good thing to pivot on. Uh, the other thing we fixed was mechanics. You'll notice these ones, these 99 values, they were blank spaces. So we wanted to get rid of them, so we decided, based on the rules of our company, we're going to put a 99 in as a placeholder. Okay, then now next thing to think about, what's an important thing you're doing when doing a business report? Well, I don't know about you, but normally you want to know how much money you made. Notice there is no money listed on this entire form here. But if we go over here to sheet three, what we have is a price list. So we have the price list for all the services that are done. So we need to get this information into this sheet. And we're going to do it using what's called a VLOOKUP function. Now, VLOOKUPs are table function. Uh, the syntax is below. I, I, Seeing me do it, it's going to make a lot more sense to me explaining it to you. But here, the syntax is equals VLOOKUP, your parentheses, the reference value, the comma, the lookup table, comma, the return column, and then finally, exact match or not exact match. Again, watching me do it, you're going to understand it a lot better. Uh, I do have an article on my website, analyticsforall.org, uh, merging data with Excel. Uh, and there is a link to a video file I've done on the same thing that might help if you're really from not used to things like VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. So again, we want to move this information into this database. So how we're going to do it is we're going to first insert a column. OK, and we're going to name this column price. OK, so this is where our information is going to go. So we're going to put our formula here. So we're going to start with VLOOKUP. And you notice there it lights up. You can click on it, and it gives you the values we're looking for. OK, so the first thing we want is a lookup value. Our lookup value is this value. We, this is the value in our table we want to reference against. OK, the next thing we want to go to is the lookup table. So we go over to Sheet 3. We highlight the entire table. And then you press F4 to lock it in place. If you don't press F4, as you start to go down on the next sheet looking for your values, this space will start to go down to the point where there is no table. So every time you step down, you imagine this box here highlighting will keep going down, 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 down. And so you're going to get no value errors because there is no values down here. So you have to lock it in. You can tell it's locked in with these dollar signs. Okay. Next, we got to pick the column we want, the column index number. Now, what the column index number? Well, that's the return value you want. That's the value I want to return to the space I'm putting this formula in. So by default, when you're doing a VLOOKUP, the leftmost column is always your reference column. Now, if I had five or six columns here, I'd have to pick. But since I only got one more column, obviously the price is the column I'm going for. I'm going to hit 2. And then the final thing is to go to true or false for the match. Now, the way to, best way to explain this False means exact match. That's pretty easy to understand. It's going to look for words expelled exactly the way it is. It's going to say oil filter, oil filter. If it doesn't say oil filter, it's not going to match. Uh, when would you use approximate match? Ah, imagine like you're doing like a grading system and you've got a 90 to 100 is an A and an 80 to 89.9 is a B. Well, you don't want to have to put in a rule for 89.1, 89.2. So you'd use true because that way you can just put a range in and it will work within the range. So, but here we want exact, so we're going to use false. And we'll hit enter, and that'll bring us right. Now, you notice there we go 30. So, if you go back, an oil filter change is 30 bucks. Now we have the 30 in there. Again, we go there, highlight the little box here, 
and double click that brings our values all down now look at these two NAs now do you guys remember in the last one we inflicted on purpose a couple spelling errors we all falter well this is where you see them these NAs pop up and this happens a lot maybe you don't see the spelling errors right away but when you do start doing merging data that's when you're going to start to see this stuff so we're just going to fix our spelling and look the problem went away okay let's make his format look nice okay and last thing really to do here let's just copy this whole thing and go ahead and make it dollar sign so it looks good all right okay we got our prices in so the last thing we want to do is this sheet too we want to get our license plate numbers we want to get the make and model and just put it in our file but we can do that way we can do pivot table reports on how many Hondas, how many Chevys, how many Fords are coming through the door. Again, interesting data you may want to look at. The problem, though, as you're going to notice, is that in my first table, my license plate numbers are just the license plate number. But in this table, my license plate numbers have this LIC in front. Well, this is going to be a problem. We're going to have to fix it. And we're going to fix it using a data formatting function. What we're actually going to be using is a nested function, two functions. That's a function inside of another function. The two functions we're going to be using here are write, which can be used to remove characters from the front of a string, and length, len, which returns the length of a string. So a2 is representing the value we had at the beginning here. So just let me help out here. Was just make it up license space one two you know just make up a number all right so all we want is this right here we do not want this license so what we're doing here is we're going to take the length so we're going for the ln of a2 okay because again this is the value in a2 so the length of this is 6 plus 3 plus the space so the length of it is 10 but we want everything minus 4 so that's going to bring it down to 6 so we're going to say minus 4 what this is going to say is starting at the right I want every value here and stop when you get to the sixth value because the length is 10 minus 4 so that is what right is doing right starts here and starts counting back so it's going to stop counting here and that's how we're going to fix our problem going back to our formula here on value 2. We're just going to go here, we're going to insert a column, and we're going to say equals right a2 comma length a2 minus 4. Press enter. And there you go. See, we removed the license from the front. And we're going to go there, we're going to copy it across all. Now we're going to right click copy paste it here go to paste special paste our values and there they are now we've got and we can go there and delete this value and good so now we've cleaned up this we've converted the data so now it's ready for a lookup table now I want you to notice something new about this lookup table versus the last one we did when we did the last one we only had one value we looked up we only returned one value here we want to return two columns so we're gonna have to put in a little extra work here it's not too much more it's you know but it's just going to be a little different. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to go after the license plate. I'm going to put in two columns, one and two. Okay, and we're going to call this one make, and this one is going to be model. Okay, so for this one here, we're going to be, now keep in mind, we're going to be filling in two columns here. We need two columns. We need to go here and highlight two cells, fill in two columns. Now, Without touching the area, this area anymore, go up here to the formula bar, and we're going to put in our formulas. We're going to use VLOOKUP. Same as before now, license plate is our lookup value, comma. We're going to go to sheet 2, highlight the entire sheet. Make sure you use your F4, comma, to lock it in. Now, this is our column index. This is a little different. We're going to start using these. We're going to use these curly braces here. Put those in. And it formula on it. And we're going to put in 2, comma, 3 for our curly braces. And we're going to go behind it. And we're going to go here with false for the exact match. 
place this now before you hit enter because we're using these multiple spaces here what you're going to want to do is hit shift control and then enter and now it'll fill in okay again that was shift plus control plus enter those when you're doing multiple columns like that you have to do that otherwise it won't light up all the columns you can try without it and you'll see the error you get now we're going to go down here we've got the chevy and the cruise filled in we're going to double click on our spot now there you go now we've taken all our data and we filled it in now we actually have a, something a sheet we can actually start doing some analysis on if you want here we could sit there and we can make a pivot table just go there grab that whole area insert table pivot table select it to a new sheet say go bring it up now here we go real simple you go down here you've got your weekday and let's say we want to bring our price down here to the values uh, value field settings we don't want to count say we want to get maybe the average or sum. let's get a sum there they are highlight this go up and change it to dollar but there you go now you see we're able to make some actual reporting databases based off after we've cleaned the data now I have like we said uh, it's data cleaning is unfortunately it is a big part of the job and so taking time to learn some of this really will save you time because otherwise if you want to try to merge this data and make all these cleanups it involves a lot of typing on your own and especially if you're dealing with sheets that hundreds of records so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please come to analyticsforall.org. I've got lots of other videos and articles on working with Excel and anything else analytics. Um, until then, good talking to you. Bye.